Hey everyone, I'm Evan and today we're going to be reviewing the Abu Garcia Black Max 6.5 foot casting combo. First we'll go over some specifications on the rod and reel and then I'll give you my opinion on it. So the rod, like I had mentioned, is 6.5 feet long. It's a medium power. The action is not list, but it seems to be around a moderate fast action. It has 8 eyelets including the tip. It's made for between 8 and 15 pound line. And the recommended lure weight is a quarter ounce to five eighths of an ounce. The rod has a hook keeper as well, a Texas rigged hook keeper. We have foam EVA handles. The rod tips themselves have the ceramic inserts in them. And then that brings us to the reel. The reel itself is a 6.4 to one gear ratio. It has five ball bearings. It has your standard paddle handle with rubber grips and the handle itself is anodized. It has your star drag system and then it has the spool tension knob right above that. Then you have the spool drag on the side. And I have this reel spooled with 12 pound mono, Berkeley Big Game. I've used this rod and reel combo for about five months now. I got this at the beginning of the year. So my overall impression on it, at first I thought that for a $60 combo, it was going to be fairly stiff and not uh, not very sensitive. But I was, I was wrong with that. For a $60 rod, it's really impressed me. It has enough backbone to definitely throw us a little bit heavier lures. I would stick with a weight between about 3 eighths to 5 eighths of an ounce. It's really going to throw nicer around the half ounce range. A quarter ounce is a little light for it to throw very far. As far as the reel itself, the drag is pretty smooth on it. I've caught some pretty good sized fish with it and the drag has not been too tight or it's not been jerky or anything with it. I bought this rod and reel combo as more of a backup bait caster or if somebody else is wanting to go fishing with me and wants to use a bait caster, it's there for them to use. And so far it served that purpose really well. It seems like that's a good fit for it and then somebody wanting to buy their first bait caster as well and not wanting to spend a whole lot of money, but still getting a fairly good quality rod and reel. Overall, I've been pretty impressed by this combo and I would definitely give it a buy for anyone looking to buy one. There's there's definitely better combos out there, but for $60, you really can't do much better than the Abu Garcia Black Max combo. So with this combo, I've caught everything from smaller bass all the way up to pretty large paddlefish, 20 plus pound paddlefish, and it's handled everything just great. Um, really can't, I really don't have any cons about it. Uh, one thing, the rod could be a little more sensitive, but then again, for $60, you can't expect a whole lot. I would say that if definitely the strongest part of this combo is the reel. So if you get this, use it for a while and realize that you want something a little bit more, you can always step up to a nicer rod, like a, like a Daiwa Arid X or something like that, which is my other combo that I use. And that's a pretty solid rod. It's definitely a lot more sensitive than what this rod is and lighter weight. So if you're thinking about getting into bait casters or you just want a backup bait caster, I would say that this is definitely a good combo to get. You spool with something like 12 pound mono and then if you do get a bad bird's nest, it's not gonna be the end of the world. You can cut it out without too much pain. This is a pretty versatile rod too. I've used it everything from spinner baits like I have on there to chatter baits, swim baits, a um, little bit of the soft plastics, jigs, really just about anything this rod and reel can handle being a 6.4 to one gear ratio and a moderate fast action. It's really just a good all around rod. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section. I'll try to get them answered as soon as I can. Or if you wanna see a review on another rod and reel combo, just let me know. I'm always looking for new rods and reels, always looking for new tackle to try. So just leave a comment below if you wanna see anything else reviewed. So until next time guys, see ya.